Hello, and welcome, to my physical chemistry tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the following tasks considering this reaction. Task A, what is the value of the rate constant? Task B, what are the units of the rate constant? Task C, what would happen to the rate if the concentration of OH- were cut in half? Task D, what would happen to the rate if the concentration of both reactants were cut in half? Let's begin with task A. In order to solve this and all the other tasks, we need a few more details. The description provides us relevant information about the reaction, rate law, and the concentration of the reactants. First of all, let's look at the reaction equation and all further details. We can see that both reactions are first order reactions, which means it is a second order reaction overall. We have to use the following formula to solve this task. The concentration is given in the task. X and Y are the order. In this example, we only have first order reactions. That's why we use the exponent 1 instead of X and Y. Now that we have the formula, we need to solve the equation for K2 because the task wants us to find it out. Last but not least, we are filling all the numbers in the formula and get 520 per mole seconds at 310 Kelvin. This is the rate constant. Let's keep going with task B. We know that the reaction rate is measured in mole per second and has the concentration m squared. Therefore, the unit of K2 has to be per mole second in order to be mathematically correct. So, we calculate mole per second divided by mole squared. The result is 1 per mole second. Let's continue with task C. We know that the rate constant for this reaction is 520 per mole second. So what we are doing is, cutting the concentration of OH- in half, in order to know what is going to happen with the reaction rate. This is a calculation. And this is the result, 0.026 mole per second. After comparing this value with the initial value, it is clear that the reaction rate decreased by half. This means that by halving the concentration of one reactant, the reaction rate also decreases by half. And finally the last task, D. In this task, we need to halve not one, but both reactions of the reactants. So, we use the same formula as in C, but this time, with both concentrations cut in half. This is a calculation. The result is 0.013 mol per second. The reaction rate decreases to a quarter, when both concentrations of the reactants are cut in half. So at the end, we can say, by only halving one concentration, the reaction rate decreases to a half. But by halving, both concentrations, the reaction rate decreases to a quarter. That's because they are both, first order reactions. Thank you for your attention.